Okay, welcome back to another video tutorial here. Um, I'm just going to refer to this as animating without animating. Uh, it's a technique used in a lot of games. Um, a lot of Flash games use it, um, various uh, Facebook games, um, specifically a game I used to play quite a bit. Uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance uses this technique. Um, essentially what it is is you you draw the um, the character, the image, the sprites that you want, except you draw it in pieces and then you put those pieces together inside of the game engine and then you just push all the animation off onto the game engine. Now it doesn't completely take out frame by frame animation. Um, you can still see some here but it helps to um, reduce the workload quite a bit. So I'm just going to give an example, um, something I've been working on. Um, I'm a big fan of the Rifts tabletop RPG. Um, I just mostly collect the books. I don't actually play the, the game. Um, but I like the, the artwork involved and such. So um, this goes back to an image created by Newton Ewell, um, I think back in 92 or 94. Um, we've got it here, it's this great uh, pen and ink image that he did. And, um, and I wanted to sort of do a, a game character in that style, in the Marvel Avengers Alliance style. Um, and so, yeah, but I, I didn't want to quite go as, um, as complicated as Newton went. Um, especially if you have to redraw a, a game character several times over. You want to see where you can simplify. So we've got, um, got the sort of the flats image that I did of this, and I based it off of a, a Marvel uh, Avengers Alliance character. So there's the lizard. There's the different parts. I just liked that, um, that sort of rounded form that's being created there. And um, But again, we can see it's all just separate parts. And so that's how I created it as well. It's all just separate parts. Um, this was just the flats idea to it. Um, came out okay. Happier with the upper portion than I am with the tail. Um, but anyways, yeah. And, and so also, I didn't quite want to go for the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the, the comic book or, uh, or cartoon realism style of Avengers Alliance. I wanted more of a... Um, ink outlined kind of look and I like that inside of Inkscape um, I'll frequently create objects and then I'll just duplicate them so here's the left shoulder piece so duplicate it um, make it a little bit bigger send it to the back and the reason I like this is because it's great for creating line variation um, <clears throat> Inkscape generally isn't good for, for line variation, so if we just put a stroke around the object, we get this very uniform line that's exactly the same all around, and that's not uh, not particularly interesting. So I like using this method because we can get sort of um, uh, wider and thinner edges all around, and it can be good if you're trying to create some weight to the objects, so maybe in the darker areas it gets a bit heavier. Um, towards a highlighted area, might have a thinner, uh, thinner kind of stroke or outline to it. I'll just put on our highlight here. There we go. This is actually what I was trying to do. <laughs> you can kind of see from there. So you know uh, the lights hitting hitting the object at this angle and so we might actually kind of reinforce that a bit by having a thinner stroke near that area that's lighter but anyways um, so that's just just a idea of where some of my thought process comes in so if we're actually going to get into the model that I created it's um, here it is here um, again I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it it's not not great but it's okay um, but it's all broken up into these different pieces that are then going to be exported and placed inside of a game engine um, in my case I, I don't work in flash I work in a program called construct 2 which I like quite a bit and um, but it's the same general 
uh, premise with that, um, we're going to animate it pretty much the same way. So next step is to export each and one of the uh, each and every one of these images. Um, we'll just I've already done it, so um, we'll just switch over to construct. We can kind of see over here. So here is um, the the image placed all the pieces together and inside a construct too um, what you do is you use these things called behaviors so for instance uh, this left arm has a couple behaviors on it they're both sign behaviors um, one is an angle sign and the other is a vertical sign so what that means is it's going to rotate on an angle and then it's also going to vertically move up and down the screen um, and the other thing, of course, is uh, I had to set the origin point so that it rotates at a point that's a little bit more realistic for where the shoulder would be. And most of the upper torso has that um, that vertical sign movement. So basically, it's, it's going to be sort of bobbing a little bit, like it's getting ready for a fight. And then the only other uh, behavior that I added to it was just... Um, its axe, which is separate from the left arm, um, is pinned. So there's the pin behavior. We go to the event sheet and then we sort of see um, that axe is pinned to the left arm by both position and angle. So however the left arm moves, it's actually going to affect how the axe moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just run that. And there we go. We've got um, got our plasma axe. We'll probably have to play with it a bit more. Lines up a bit. Very simple. My first experiments with animating some Rift's characters. Um, so there we go. That that was all I really wanted to show here. Is just uh, one method of animating. Um, it makes it much easier for 2D animation. And uh, yeah, so. Look for Rifts the game, um, which I'll be making sometime soon, followed by um, Rifts the lawsuit when they sue me for making a game out of uh, something I don't have the copyright to. Uh, anyway, so I hope you found this useful. Um, go ahead, hit subscribe if you like. Uh, next, we're going to get into some um, shading and highlights tutorials inside of Inkscape. But uh, keep watching, and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks a lot.